Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 10 of this Bolton Wanderers Return to Glory save that I've got going on at the moment. Um, hopefully you've come from the previous video, if you haven't go and check it out, it was a good one. But today we've got two really close games, two really tough games as well coming up. We have got Oxford United and Charlton Athletic, both are in that kind of playoff mix. Um, shouldn't be able to catch us, we've got a 10 point gap at least to, uh, to Oxford at the moment. However. They should prove really tough opponents. Um, however, we have been flying um, through this league. We have done really well so far. We have got an eight-point lead over Barnsley. Um, so, yeah, it's looking good for back-to-back -back promotions and getting us up to the championship. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. It should be a real cracker. I'm really hoping it is um, because this could really put us towards um, put us one step closer to promotion. Um, if you do enjoy it, then please hit that like button. I'd love to get to, let's go for 15 likes on this video. Um, it'd be really fantastic if we could do that. Um, also, if you are enjoying it and you do enjoy my other content, then please consider subscribing. I've got a couple of um, new football manager videos coming out soon as well, which have done really well. I'm hoping to continue that trend. Um, but yeah, let's get on with this first game. It's against Oxford United away from home. So the first of two massive games then on this episode, I'm hoping for, I'm, I'm, I'd say four points would be a pretty good return. Uh, a draw against Oxford wouldn't be the worst result in the world, but we've been on good form. We have been performing well and uh, I'd like to think that we should be able to get two wins out of this. If we get two wins, then I think that's pretty much us with the title in the bag. Because um, I can't see Barnsley pulling points back on us, and I'm expecting we got Barnsley actually last game of the season as well. So if we hopefully we'll we'll have had this one wrapped up by them. Doyle. It's a good play from Sarsovic. He just gets the running going. He's got a chance to put Williams through. Williams got a chance straight away. He strikes it well, but it's blazed over the bar. But it's good early work from us. Good, good uh, bit of pressing there. Managing to get hold of the ball. Sarsovic gets a chance. He just can't quite. I haven't got the pace to get past him. But Doyle does. Great turn. He's got a great chance now. Surely he's going to score. There he does. He buries it. Lovely little finish. Bent round the keeper. Into that far corner. Once Doyle turned that, um, once he turned that defender, there was nowhere else that ball was going to go. And he does. Oh, oh, it, it's got through to him, and Doyle was very fortunate there to get the ball. Wasn't really the pass I was looking to play. Let's see if Delaney can. Oh, Delaney's going to win the header. <laughs> he doesn't get a clean header, don't they? He is so potent in the in the uh, box of corners. Couldn't quite get the header on target. Challenge. No, that was a great challenge ref we're talking about. Oh, he's done him. He's going to shoot and he's going to finish into the same corner. Tuna, once he was through, there was no stopping him. 2-0 up against a very good Oxford team. That's the worst celebration I've ever seen. Centre halves. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, has he got? No, he has got the pace to get past him. The guile to up and up the defence. Real danger. Oh, it's too. Oh, that is too good. That is too good. What is going with Oxford here? One touch. Easy as that. And it was a wonderful. Oh, not again, surely. Ross has got a chance now. Oh. Trying to go for power across the keeper there, hoping he'd block it wide, but it wasn't a very well struck shot. But that's it, it's 3 0 up at half time, away from home. What a, what a 45 minutes. Cameron Brannigan. Huge open gap there, and they just went walked straight through it. 
Don't know what we were doing there, but that was pretty poor. 3-1 it is, and they've still got time to get back into this game. It's more like it. I don't have to hammer it out to him. Can he make it count? Oh, Doyle, I thought he had a chance there. That's poor. We've wasted so many opportunities in this game. They've been poor today, far below their usual standards. That's the ball. Oh, it was a trip there as well. That was a trip on him. But he still managed to get the shot away. The keeper made a good save. That looked like a trip. Look, there's a trip there. Should have been a pen, really. Should now have wasted enough time, run, run down the clock enough. But again, they've got him way too easily behind us there. Moving into the 90th minute. Right, well, he's just running it down now. Running that clock down. Isgrave has a go, but it's pretty poor. And that's it. It's a 3-1 win away from home against one of our rivals. That is a great result. It really is. And we move on to the next one. So after a pretty dominant display there, um, we've got another game. This is a home game this time against Charlton Athletic, who are 10th. They've actually fallen off a little bit. Um, they were about 6th place about two games ago, so they've fallen right down. But it's still going to be a tough game. They're, they're obviously a pretty good team. Uh, normally a championship level team, I would say. So let's see how we get on in this one. Hopefully another three points. Right, if we can beat uh, Oxford United so convincingly, then I think a result here of three points is got to be the way we go. Lovely ball out wide. Now can we get it in the box? This time we go to the far post, but Doyle goes near. Just was caught out again with a defender. Maybe a set piece is going to be the best work. Oh! That was our best chance so far. Delaney again with his head. Oh, now we've got a chance. Doyle's in behind. He has a go. Again, the keeper's denied us. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Oh, he's past him. But he's too slow. You turn the turn a defender and try and bend into the far corner. But fluffed his lines. Lack composure and pace. We managed to deal with it quite well there. That's the ball. That is the ball. Oh, Doyle with the turning circle of the Titanic there. Nil nil. And it's, uh, we should be 1 0 up at least. He thinks he's Van Dyke. Now, lad. Ooh, they're sitting off Doyle here. Oh, oh such a beautiful move. Santos sticking those big, long legs in there. Just about got away with that one. Now we can catch him on the break. Half an hour remaining then. Must take the lead. Yes. And they have. You've got to say as soon as a defender committed there, it was only going in one place. Politic gets the goal. Finally, we got the breakthrough. Point in terms of the goal that was scored. There as well. Oh, 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 Doyle with a snapshot. <coughs> oh, that's a nice ball, actually. Might just keep that one in. He does. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine from there, ref. One minute left of normal time. Feels like we've just got to win the ball back off him and that should be it. But they're pushing men forwards and they've always oh, done me there. This is not looking good. Oh, Delaney, that's what you do, my man. That's it now. There's no coming back. And in fact, we might actually get another goal here. I was ready to celebrate that one, but it doesn't matter. It's a 1-0 win. Two wins in the episode, and we are marching up to the championship. 
So after all that, it is looking really strong in this League One campaign so far. 39 games played, seven games left to play. We have an 11 point lead, although Barnsley do have that game in hand on us, so they could knock that down to eight points. In terms of promotion, though, we've got another three points on to Wickham as well. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's, it's looking pretty good at the moment. Probably a couple more wins and we should be guaranteed promotion. But obviously we want to win the league as well. So in terms then of the uh, next games, we're probably going to come back for our, the last couple of games of the season. Uh, hopefully we'll have already um, got ourselves our promotion by then and we can start to build for that championship season that's going to be coming up next. We've definitely got a few players that we need to replace. Um, I am looking at a new strike at the moment, although Doyle's still bagging the goals in. Uh, he is declining. He's down. He started the season at 64. He's down at 61 now, so he's only going to get worse as he gets older. Uh, if you have enjoyed the episode, and I really hope you have, there's been some cracking games and there's some good goals, then please uh, like, subscribe, and stick some comments in there as well. I'd love to hear what you think of this, this series. Uh, and also check out my other stuff as well, including my Football Manager 23 videos. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.